Different color series, keyframe, about destinations, humankind. Let's see what's going on, everybody. Thank you so much for joining this live stream. Haven't done a live stream in a long time, and I'm excited. Look at me, how professional. I look like a, a customer support, like one of those uh, <laughs> like stock photos of like a, what a customer support usually looks like, and it's, it's usually like this. And we have support, and it's usually a person like this in front of a computer. That's what it looked like. Hopefully, this works. Um, I'm getting this microphone because like, I want to be able to doodle and stuff and be able to move around this a little bit and not be worrying about uh, what's happening, you know? So that's, that's what's happening. And um, let me see if, uh, oh, there you go. So some people are here. <laughs> this is so cool. So right now we're streaming to different sources. Uh, we're on YouTube, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn, everywhere. Mass media. Is, is that what they call with mass media? I'm going to put on Discord just like, yo, here, channel. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to just like, how do you, how do everyone? I think it's everyone. Yeah. I'm going to spam everyone. Yo, join us. And it's so cool because like uh, uh, there's a way to actually do live streams on Twitter, which is something that I love. Anyway, here, microphone, look how professional. The only thing that worries me is that my beard and this thing, I think they might make some noise together. So by the way, I'm here, I have a dashboard and this dashboard tells me if, uh, uh, if, People have some chats. So if you, my beautiful Figma Maria. Oh, John Jensen, thank you so much. I love you. I love you, my baby. Uh, so hold on. Let me see what's going on here. I don't want to. Yeah. Pablo, what up? Hello there. Hello, bro. Okay, so you can hear me. If anything, I'm having a chat here. So if you're on YouTube, if you're on Twitter, if you're on, I don't think Discord. If you're on LinkedIn, I'm going to be able to see your chats here. And I'm going to be able to just like answer you okay so today what are we going to do today we're just going to doodle that's the agenda very clear agenda for you doodle 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 uh and yeah i'm just going to just like draw a scene i haven't done anything in a long time and, and maybe I, i'm you know what another part of the agenda i'm going to dun, 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 i'm going to share uh a link toward Discord for five people, or for one people, for one people. And, but the thing is that I'm going to share a piece of the code in the middle of the stream, and then I'll share a piece of the code somewhere around in the middle again, and then the rest of the piece at the end. So you have to be tuned. You have to be watching me. You want to get in the Discord? You got to be watching this beautiful face for like an hour. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's the agenda for today. So, um, by the way, this is so cool. I wish, uh, hold on, can you see this? Can you, yeah, can you see this little guy here? This is, uh, I got a new tablet. Uh, so, I usually draw on my iPad, but the problem with the iPad is that there's no easy way for you to follow what I'm drawing. Uh, you have to put a camera above, which is okay, it's great. You can see the, cam the, the, the hand and stuff. But sometimes I just want to be quick and streaming from the iPad is not that easy. But streaming from your computer is easy, you know? So, and with this thing, with this tablet that connects to Photoshop, it's going to be easy to stream. I'm back, baby. I'm back to my old ways of streaming via Photoshop. So, okay, let's get started. Let's do this. See, and I'm still here. I'm still on the screen. Sometimes you're only going to be seeing my shoulder, but sometimes I'm going to come back like, hey, what's up? Okay, so um, 
Let's see, is everything okay? Let's go over here, let's see the chat. Sketch Fernanda, your strip chair is so caliente. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yeah, so over here, so I started sketching, doing some sketches of like the character. Uh, and, and actually this, I think uh, this is a good exercise uh, just to show you like my, my, dear, my dirty little process as I go through uh, uh, through the whole idea of just like uh, 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 creating the character. And this is the character of uh, Maya. So I'm going to just like share a little bit of it. And usually it's just a circle, a circulo. And then I draw kind of like a, like a rectangle, like a kind of like a for the, for the chin. And then you, you just draw this. And apparently my, let me just like, hey, you just draw this and then uh, which is, this is going to be the center of your, uh, of your face, you know? And then this is going to be like your chin. This, this just a, it's just a circle. This is the skull. And then just a little bit for the chin. And usually this can like, you can go long. Like, I don't know if you want to go with a long face, then you can just like do something like this, you know? And then suddenly you have a really long face or you can just like a, uh, like have something like this, and then suddenly you have, uh, I don't know, a weird looking face, <laughs> like a little bit, like a, a little bit chubby, you know. So like it's so cool because like they all share the circle on the top, the skull. But then what is uh, what comes next on the bottom? That's what makes uh, characters a little bit more different, you know. Uh, so so yeah, just a little trick there. Uh, to make your characters uh, cooler. And this is the hairline, and then suddenly you have something like this. How dope is that? Just a circle, they all are a circle, and then below you can do it a little bit more square, you can do it a little bit more like a, I don't know what this is, like a mango? Is this a mango? Uh, more like a heart, like a, like a pear. Uh, it could be more like a, like a pointy kind of face, and then another one that is, uh, what do you say if this, uh, this is a, a broccoli kind of face, you know? It's just a, a, a backwards broccoli, you know? Usually broccolis are like this. Well, this is a backwards broccoli. And then you get someone with a beard. <laughs> Can you still see me? Yes. Am I still there? Are you still there? You make it look so easy, yes. That's the trick, right? And and that's a that's one of the uh, myths about like a once. That's that's one of the myths about like talent, talent. Oh, he, he must have talent. He must be a creative. That's why he can draw. That's why they can draw. That's a, that's the myth of the creative of the, of the talented. Talented is just it's just a way for. It's just an excuse for people to sometimes not get started. I don't have talent, so I cannot draw. No. What you don't have is uh, perseverance, my friend. That's what you don't have. You know what I'm, now that I'm drawing on, on, on uh, what do you call this? Photoshop, I miss, miss being able, like the different little details about Procreate, which is like drawing a circle, like drawing a circle and holding it. I catch myself trying to do that. Uh, but, well, that's not something you can do anymore because some Photoshop, it's not available. Anyway, let's uh, draw our body, the body. And as you can see here, let me just zoom in here. You can see that there's all basic shapes. It's just like a circle, then a rectangle, a couple of circles there. And then we have like this kind of like box, tons of boxes, and then just box, 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 box many boxes and then you have a body that's the trick circles and boxes that's all you need baby so okay let's just start with our character you keep explaining but you don't keep doing pablo when are you gonna do something you just keep saying that you're gonna do it but then you don't do it and i have limited time pablo it's not like i'm going to be here all night watching you ramble about boxes and circles do it. Do you want to like? Do you want me to subscribe to your channel? Well, then do it. See, 
Okay, so we have our head, right? And then the body, specifically of, uh, if you see the proportions here, you see how the, the, <laughs> the head is just gigantic compared to the body. And that's usually how I'm drawing the humankind characters. It's just a box here, what did I tell you? Box, and then another box here. So there you go, now nah, something like this. And then from there, maybe this, uh, this is going to be, uh, uh, on this side is going to be straight. Let's just draw a line here. And then from here, from this side, it's going to be something like this. Uh, 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 and then just like this. <laughs> See, I, I hate it when I actually, when my, my initial sketch looks better than my final sketch. I kind of like this better. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happens. Uh, yeah, because like, oh man, oh man, usually it should be a little bit smaller and then it should be a little more like this. Oh man, I want to start again. Can I start again? I'm going to just reduce the opacity of this. Yeah, and then I'm going to start again on top. And I'm actually going to just like, I'm, oh, I have mini brushes. I haven't used these brushes in a long time. This one is kind of like a pencil kind of brush. And I'm going to use it. I'm so excited, baby. I'm so excited. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go again. Let's reduce the opacity of this. So again, we draw a circle. Yo, no, over here. We draw a circle. I wish, I wish I could, I could draw circles like in Procreate. Damn, man. And then we just like add a little box here. That's going to be your chin. And then just a line to tell us where to where to go, and then over here, that's where our eyes are going to be. Then just a box for for this, and then uh, then a box for the body, not so big. Then we have or box for the hip, the hip, the hop, the hippity hop, and then we have. Uh, wow, what 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 am I doing? No 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 no. Something like this, yeah, and then maybe something like this. There you go. So yeah, what was I rambling? I was rambling something about talent. Yeah, talent is what, I keep hearing people talking about talent. I keep hearing people talking about like, oh, I don't have talent, so I cannot draw. I cannot do that. It's not talent. It's not, I mean, talent can be part of it. But it really is just practice. It's, it's just like anything. Anything else, any skill in life is just the same practice. Some of them might require more practice than others. But uh, but they all come down to that. Let me just turn down this one. Turn off this one. It all comes down to that, baby. So when you see, Pablo, you make it look so easy. Yeah, well, it's not like a... When, when you see someone just like a... like. Oh, like uh, it, it makes it look so easy. Don't think, oh, it's because Pablo has talent. No, it's not that. It's 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 really because like uh, I mean, I've been forcing myself to do this a, a lot of a, a lot. You know, <laughs> I've been crazy enough to to just like try and try. You know, until like suddenly I get to a point where it's like I feel a little bit more comfortable. But uh, but then that doesn't mean that it just like. Like suddenly it's easy and now it's effortless and now you can, like all my work is just like something that I, I don't need to think about. Like no, like A, when you see talented people, well talented, no, no talent. When you see people like doing their best work, it's just like A, they, usually people are, they're still improving it, you know? So what what, what the hell are you saying, Pablo? What are you, what are you talking about? I'm talking about forget about talent and just, Talk about like working on your skills and your craft by practicing. That's all I'm trying to say. In not a very eloquent way. Okay. I like my bass. I like my bass. I like my bass, bass. I like my bass. You know what? Yeah. So this one I'm going to... You know what? I actually like this one better. And, and on that one, I, I actually did it just a little bit more prolonged, like how uh, here it was like done, like, ooh. So, so yeah, I don't know why I'm, why I'm ranting about that. I think, uh, 
I suppose like I saw something about I, I, I just keep hearing people just like hey I just like oh Pablo just that you're so talented and I get I'll, I'll say this I, I, I get kind of mad when people s tell that to me I mean I'm obviously you, you, I mean you should be thankful Pablo yeah it's just like it's not I get mad because like it's not talent dude it's uh, it's really just like being there like trying it uh so it, it's, it's almost like dude no, it's not like I, do, I was just born with this like i just been keep trying that's all because like like talent is a way for people to say like uh to give up quickly 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 you know where like oh i don't have talent so i'm never going to get that uh get there uh so it's just an excuse to give up because like then you say like, oh, well, I didn't finish it because I don't have talent. I didn't get to that because I don't have talent. And I want to invite you to say like, uh, no, well, whatever. Talent is, is could be a way to get there, but it's uh, sometimes it can be a crux. Talent can be a crux, can be a... Uh, just something that doesn't allow you to continue working because then suddenly you say like, oh, I have so much talent, so I don't have to work on my craft. I don't have to work on making stuff better because it just comes natural to me. And then that's when you don't grow. What do you think? Are you liking this? Are you liking my sketch? I think I'm liking it. So, okay, so I'm going to just like... I love, this is something that I wish I could do on uh, Procreate, which is uh, just like being, the, uh, the selection tools are so much, obviously, so much better on Photoshop. Uh, and selecting and copying stuff on Procreate, it can be kind of daunting, you know? It can be just like, oh man, sometimes you're like, oh man, it's going to be so difficult to select stuff. And then you don't do it. Uh, and here on Photoshop, it's just like the selection tools are beautiful. And and when you know all the shortcuts and everything, you're really quick. So uh, let's go over here and let's reduce the opacity. We're just drawing our character. And you know what? No, actually, let's bring back our opacity. And it's boring, right? Right now it's boring, Pablo. What is this? Is that it? Now let's 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 add something. I think there was a prompt about like a just like friends and just like having friends and just like a um, being reminded that you're not alone. I think uh, on Discord there was a prompt about that, and it was kind of kind of nice, right? Whereas like a uh, sometimes it's hard to remember that. Uh, Hey, we're all we're all on this together, right? As as cliche as it sounds, but uh, yeah, it's easy to forget that others also feel pain. Usually, just like we, especially with social media, right? We're like invited, like almost like forced to uh, to show the best side of ourselves. It's always us in vacations, always us just like drinking the best food, the best coffee, having the time of our lives. And it's kind of like a pressuring to just like show that side of you. And if you don't have that side, you're like, well, you shouldn't even post, you know? Who are you to post something? So you win, but you want to post, you want to, to be out there. And then you start like uh, pretending that you're having the time of your life, that you're having, oh my God, life is wonderful. And sometimes that's not true. Life is pain. Life is struggle. And it's okay. It's, it, I, I wish we, we were encouraged to show more of that. That, hey, sometimes stuff is not perfect. Sometimes stuff doesn't go our way. But, and, and, and sometimes we are, oh, what's going on? We end up like judging ourselves, like comparing ourselves to others. 
and we compare to that that beautiful photo of them uh, somewhere, right? Where it's like uh, they take that selfie, and it's like, <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh my god, I'm not as beautiful as that person. I'm not in that, uh, I don't know, in that tropical island by myself, enjoying of margaritas. Mar Why did I say margaritas like a gringo? Margaritas. <laughs> so I must be doing something wrong. I must not be worth it, you know? And it's like, no. I mean, maybe I'm at least use this as a, it's encouragement to go out there and like they say touch the grass but um oh what uh, what happened there oh i love that that was an accident but i love it embrace accidents make them part of your work anyway what i'm trying to say is that someone was like yo wouldn't it be cool if there was a something that reminds us that we're all we can all be just like uh, we're not alone. And we're not alone in our pain. Wow, Pablo, that's dark. That's deep, Pablo, but also a little bit dark. And, by the way, I always get distracted and I start drawing, <laughs> making these doodles. Anyway, uh, I don't want to make Maya all by herself. That's what I'm trying to say in not a very eloquent way. And now I'm drawing some friends around. Which, by the way, I'm imagining these, these little fellas, uh, these little folk, they're called the gummy kind. The gummy kind and the gummy kind are species that roam in the land of kind, but they're kind of mischievous. They're kind of like all over the place, and they're just like, I don't know. They're friendly. They don't mean any harm. But they're also, like, they're almost kind of like, <laughs> I, I see them almost like gremlins. You know? they're, like, sometimes they will mess up with your tools. They will mess up with whatever you're doing because they're kind of like little trolls <laughs> in a way. So I, and I like the idea. Where, but, but they're just like, they do everything for, for the lulls, I guess. But also, I don't know. They're, they're kind of cute, too. They're, they're not evil or anything they don't do anything with bad intentions they just they just like you know just like roaming around and hanging out and disturbing the peace just a little bit yeah, a little bit of disturbing the peace here and there it's not gonna kill you <laughs> anyway we have our character I think uh, I like it this is our sketch Maybe we do a little hat on this one. Maybe it's a like kind of like a little cowboy hat. And this one, let's do another hat on this one. Maybe this is a like a cap, like a baseball cap. What do you say? Yeah, you like that? And maybe this one has a, a backpack. And yeah, okay. So <laughs> let's finish this. Yeah, so ba -ba -ba, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Let's finish our sketch here. Let's do the backpack. And let's, uh, what if we, uh, we, oh man, we just like do the, the sword. Look at this. You didn't know that, huh? You press R and you can rotate the canvas. That's pretty cool, right? I, I miss that, actually. Now now that I'm doing it, I miss that because that's something that you cannot do on Procreate. But I suppose in Procreate, you don't need it because you can just, like, rotate the whole... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the whole... Oh, man, I don't like this brush. Uh, the whole tablet, right? You have a tablet, so you can just rotate the tablet. But I don't know. There's something cool about, like, doing it this way. You know? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. So, I think I like it. Okay, just one last thing here with our backpack, and we're good. 
Okay, we have our little sketch. Let's add a new uh, layer. And before we do that, let's go back to our questions. I'm going to take your questions. Let's see if uh, anyone has asked any questions. Hold on. How do I do that? Yeah. Are you real Pablo Escobar? What, are, what tablet did you buy? Did you say you're using? Oh, I actually, I've been forever... I have used uh, Cintiq, like uh, Cintiq tablets, and this time from Wacom. 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 Sounds like a, a, the sound that Pac-Man does. Wacom, 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 Wacom. Anyway, I've always been a fan of Wacom. But I have to say, like an iPad, the, uh, the, the, the Wacom are just like crazy expensive. Like, I mean, if you come to think about like what the cost of an iPad is, like a, a, an iPad Pro and a Wacom, 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 it's crazy that they haven't lowered the price. So it has been really hard for me to just like justify buying a Wacom. But then I did a little bit of research and then I found this Huidon. Huidon? We don't. H U. Let me just write it down here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We don't. There you go. So, we don't are like a like an like another brand of tablets. They're the quality. I suppose like the. I don't know. For me, they're good. They're great. It's actually for, for so far. It has been an amazing experience and. I don't miss the quality and finish of the Wacom tablets. Like, it's it, it just like for a fraction of the price of the Wacom tablets, I'm getting the same experience. So that's what I'm using right now. But I think this doesn't replace my iPad. I think the iPad, I will keep using it for other stuff. It's just like uh, here, when I'm, I'm here, maybe on streams and stuff, I think that the Uidon, Uidon, Huidon, it's going to be perfect. Okay. I'm a UX designer myself, and I know I always want to improve our designs. So at what point do you decide you're happy with the sketch? Time boxing. So the question is, like, at what time do you just, like, move on, right? And I think it's, uh, 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 yeah, like, time can be a, a good way to just determine when to stop, right? You, you got into a good like, hey, you just spend this amount of time and then let's move on. I think it's a... It, 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 it's hard to decide that. You, you have to set some goals, but set some minimum goals. It's just like the whole idea of the MVP, right? The minimum viable product, right? And you can apply that to anything where it's like, hey, you apply the minimum that you need to do to get this stuff out there. The minimum of your uh, sketch or the di diagram or uh, wireframe or whatever it is, you're going to need to just like get started. Because like, I, I actually put a, a, a post, I think today it was about perfection. And it was just like a, I don't know, like a, a, a trick to be more productive. It's just like a, not worrying too much about perfection. Seeing perfection as a, as a goal, as an objective, as an ideal, you know, but not as a requirement. Because if you make it a requirement, then it's, you're never going to, to get to the finish line. You're never going to, to move. You're going to just stall. You're not going to, you're going to start procrastinating. You're going to even convince yourself, oh, I'm not good. Oh, I cannot make it. Why? Because you, you, you're, you're obsessing over perfection. And then suddenly you convince yourself, oh, I'm never going to be perfect. So I might not, why even do it? And it's like, dude, no, nobody's perfect. Nobody's going to, like, and, and, and actually your, your work is better. Like, it actually flaws, mistakes should be a requirement, should be part of your roadmap, should be something that you strive for. Because uh, errors Mistakes, flaws, make us human. It's part of it. You're not a robot. So, like, if you suddenly want it to be perfect and you, that's the only, no, man, you're never going to finish. So, just move on. Just, I, I, I like this quote, and this is from 
General Patton, which who was a commander from a, I think a World War World War the first World War World War War <laughs> the World War One. And the quote says, uh, "I'm going to misquote. <laughs> I'm going to totally miss it." But it's something like a, uh, it's better, a good plan, a good plan, it's better to execute, sorry, ah, I'm trying to remember, sorry. Okay, don't worry about perfection, Pablo, come on, just do it, just say it. Uh, <laughs> a good plan executed now is better than a perfect plan executed uh, uh, that a perfect plan in two weeks. A good plan violently executed now. That, that's the key word on the, on the phrase. A good plan violent, violently executed now is better than a perfect plan executed two weeks from now. The idea is just like, hey, whatever you have, move on. The enemy is there. It's coming. You can see it. You can you can hear the noise. You can hear the the drums. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And they're coming down the hill. And, and their eyes are red. They're gonna, they're about to kill you. Are you gonna continue strategizing, planning, or are you gonna take your sword and go into battle? I think you're gonna get your sword, right? Because have fangs. They have big teeth. They're <laughs> or you or you should run. <laughs> <laughs> right? Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is just like, hey, move fast. You're going to learn along the way. And then make those mistakes. Make make those flaws. Make those uh, uh, th missteps that you do along the way. Uh, turn them into part of your roadmap. Turn them into something. Now you, you have something else to do. Imagine if suddenly like a hey, you waited for things to be perfect. And then, so then what? That's it? That's all you're going to do? If things are perfect, then you, you, you just stop working, right? <laughs> now, it's always iteration. Anyway, what I was trying to say is just like, just move fast. Yeah, you're right, because I'm perfectionist, and I end up trying to make my wireframes as good as I can. Yeah, I mean, it's good to, to try to do as good as you can and end up spending so much time. A good plan, violently executed, is better than a perfect plan next week. Exactly! That's the that's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> which took me like three weeks to say it. Great quote, Pablo. Thanks for answering. A good plan by is here now is better than a perfect plan next week. Exactly. Gracias, Joel. Gracias, uh, all of you. So, okay. So, let's continue, okay? So, if you have questions, I, I should be able to... Uidon. Yeah, I should be able to just like answer them here. Let's go back to our screen. Let's go back to drawing. And I'm excited. I'm super excited because... Today I'm actually going to try these brushes too. Uh, my brushes for uh, for what do you call it? Uh, for rough dots, clean dots. Yeah, for my uh, my shadowing, and I think it's going to be. And I usually do my shadowing on Procreate, and today I'm going to be doing it on Photoshop, which is new to me. First time I ever do it, so I'm excited about about that. So, but before that, let's go inking so we are happy with our sketch so now we can just start moving to inking and i think 20 pixels should be good maybe it's too strong let's go to 18 pixels 18 pixels and then like that Ooh, sorry about that it's so cool i love my microphone i can move around i can dance i, I usually move a lot and and it's and it's bad when you have a microphone because you you have to be there you have to be super close to it. If not, people cannot hear you. And here I have my freedom back. So let's uh, let's just uh, let's do our little little doodles here and there, and we can zoom in. So so yeah, I don't know. I was thinking that. Um, I don't know. Uh, believing that that your designs, your art, that should be perfect, then 
you become gradually, slowly, you start becoming disappointed with your own work. Oh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. I cannot do it. And then suddenly you, you stop doing it because you, you oh, I, I didn't make it perfect. So why even keep going, you know? Sooner or later, you, 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 you don't know what to do because like you, you say like, you know what? Um, I'm just going to stop because like I, I cannot do this. It's not me. I don't have talent. And then you see you, you see the work from others and you're like, oh, I'm never going to be as good as them, as that person. And t believe me, that other person that you are like idolizing, they're struggling too. And they've been struggling for a long time. So uh, just like and you, you're only seeing a side of it. You know, you're only seeing the, the, the finished work. But for them, it was potentially a struggle too so i always try to think that's kind of stuff too you know that for others is also it's also work and it's also a struggle so i don't know what i'm saying what are you saying Bubba? so look at this it's all oh, it's so cool when you have that um that sketch and then now you feel really confident about just like drawing those lines they just come naturally and that's, that comes from doing the sketch and you do it many times until you, you like it and then you're like, then you can feel confident about just like drawing your lines with determination. And, and it's so weird, but those lines, when you draw them with, with that determination, they don't have to be perfect, but they, you have to show that you you're okay with that imperfect imperfection, you know? For example, my lines, I I imagine if I were to be like, uh, like this and then like this, and then uh, 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 you, you will see it. It will be so noticeable, you know? Where if, if I were like struggling, because you will see me doubting every little step of the way. You don't like that, you don't want to portray that. You already tried it. You already did your sketch. Now you're ready to just like, hey, baby, boom, quick, let's go. Just like that, you know? It's not perfect, Pablo. I don't care. <laughs> this is how I do. And that makes it perfect. So... My girlfriend has been in Europe for about a week now. So I've been by myself all this time. And I have to say, I I, I don't mean to say like, oh, I prefer this. But I, I, I don't know. I, I enjoy it too. I, I, I kind of like my... Um, I'm someone who's really uh, fine with being uh, alone not be lonely alone because you can be all by yourself all by myself and not feel lonely you know you lonely is more of a state of mind right where it's just like oh i feel lonely and you it's more about like hey you feel like you're lacking something and when you're f when you kind of like yourself I don't know. I suppose I don't know if I like myself, but I, uh, yeah, I do like myself. I like my I like my company. I'm I'm a cool dude. <laughs> wow, Pablo, very modest of you. Uh, no, but seriously, when you I don't know when you learn to accept yourself and and like like your your own company, then you're. You, you you can have fun by yourself. And I think that's an important skill to have, you know, just like a being able to to be okay with yourself, enjoying that time, listening to your music. For example, you know what I've been doing? Something that I've been doing a lot is I've been watching old movies, like really old movies. Uh, movies that I, that I know that my girlfriend would not want to watch. I mean... She will watch it because she will watch those movies because she loves me. And she's like, okay, Pablo, I'm going to watch that movie with you even though I don't want to. But she will be suffering through the whole movie. 
So, and I suffer myself too. You know why? Because my girlfriend, when she uh, when she watches movies, she has a sup- this superpower. It's I think it's a superpower. I used to think that it was like I used to get mad when she did this, but now I see it as a superpower. And that superpower is that she instantly falls asleep when watching a movie, like like that. I don't know how she does it. She turn on the movie. And the thing is that I love movies. I love movies. But, but, but and you're going to say like, well, everyone loves movies, Pablo. Yeah. But what, what I mean when I say I love movies is just that I, I watch movies like four or five times. I, I watch my, my favorite movies. At least I watch them five times. And 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 I and I enjoy watching a, one of those movies again with someone who has not watched it, you know, because it's 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 like sharing something with them. It's like oh, this is the first time you're going to watch this movie. I'm so excited for you. How many times you, and you have you seen this movie, Paolo? Yeah, like five times. But I don't care because you're going to see it too, and we're going to share this moment, this this thing that is really special for me. You're, you're going to see it, and now we're going to be able to share that and, and, and talk about that. So for me, it's, it's amazing. But my girlfriend, she just, like, falls asleep. So I used to get mad. I would be like, this is a film. This is an important piece of art, and you're just falling asleep. And then I realized, like, well, she's, she's just like that, she, you know? And, and and now I see that, like I was saying, as a superpower. Whenever I want, like whenever <laughs> I know that she needs to go to sleep, I'll be like, "Oh, we can put a movie," <laughs> because she needs to like wake up early or something. And I'm like, "Oh, well, we can just like put a movie, and that way you can just like fall asleep instantly, and you can wake up tomorrow." So anyway. Uh, so imagine if she already by the fall falls asleep. Imagine if I were to put Seven Samurai or uh, Lawrence of Arabia, 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 Arabia. Uh, or what other movie did I just watch? I just watched those two movies. Also, I watched Twelve Angry Men, <laughs> The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, which are amazing movies. It's just like incredible. Oh my God! Sip. Seven Samurai is just like Twelve Angry Men. I those are and and I've been wanting to watch those movies for a long time. I hadn't watched them because at the myself I was like, oh, but they're so old. And I and 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 sometimes like watching those movies, just like you know that they're classics. You know that they they're supposed to be good. But at the same time, you're like, oh, but they're so old. They might not be actually that good. I and mean, they might be just like considered classics for their time. But actually, they're not as good anymore. No, they're good. They're good. And and, and you can see like how many directors and 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 other artists have been influenced. By them, you know, just like you see, like uh, the movies from uh, uh, from Sergio Leone, uh, from hold on, yeah, 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 and hold on, Sergio Leone is the musician, <laughs> like the good, the bad, and the ugly, for example, and you can see like how uh, or Kurosawa, like from Seven Samurai, you can see how Quentin Tarantino, how influenced he was by by them uh, for example i also watch uh, i just watched uh, yesterday uh, uh prince of uh, lawrence of arabia and i could see oh i want to paint like it's so weird i, I wanted to paint like procreate but obviously you cannot paint like procreate here and you can see how influenced like uh george lucas or uh, steven spielberg were by 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 this movie because like this epic movie with these like the photography of just like the the desert and and just like showing it all oh my god and this epic characters they're like heroes but they're kind of like questionable heroes you know like and uh, that reminded me a little bit like uh uh what do you call it uh prince of the no uh, indiana jones um and also just like tatooine because of the desert i think i don't know Maybe I'm wrong on that. But I can see, obviously, they were super influenced because those were the movies that they watched, you know? 
growing up as kids. So I I can think that they were influenced by that. Anyway, what are you saying, Pablo? Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah. I've been watching those movies. That's I've been enjoying my time by myself, just watching those movies that I knew I needed to see to see. By the way, I watched another movie that this one is a little more. New. This this is new. It just came out. Prey, from like it's kind of like a uh, like a prequel prequel to Predator. So it's the Predator from the Predator franchise, and it's actually it's actually good. Yeah, it, I I thought it was going to be, eh, you know, just like. Like, like all those movies that just like they they need to just reuse they need uh like old property and they just use or I don't know or nostalgia to sell us something. Uh, and no, this one was actually objectively a good movie. Uh, I mean, not like oh my god, the best. It was an amazing film. No, it was a good movie. You know, a good structure, good storytelling, like the whole. It had like practical effects. It had uh, uh, like uh, uh, the whole hero who is struggling to get, uh, who's struggling against uh, this alien beast or whatever it is, and it's learning along the process. And you can see your hero growing, and you can see references from the whole movie. Not there's no, there's nothing that was just like. Um, what do you call it? A mistake, but uh, there's an objective to every scene, or almost every scene at least. And and I don't know, I like that when when they they're actually good at just like hey putting everything together in a movie. And yeah, it's a good movie. So if you were thinking about watching that movie, but you were also like me, potentially just like dismissing it because it's just like another predator movie that might not be good because of all the predator versus alien movies and all that crap that it's just like oh my god just like terrible movies uh no this one is actually good so so if you're looking to watch something i can tell you you're going to enjoy this it's a good popcorn movie is that how you say it and it's kind of like a i suppose they're trying to sell us as, as a horror movie or something it's not it's really not a horror movie uh but it's a good uh it's a good action movie and you you have your character that is uh there's a struggling and and there's growth in your character and your hero and every character has like an arc where they're growing and i i i enjoy that um so yeah they they they're really rough with the the main character I really like bullies with her <laughs> it's kind of cool just like uh, they're not afraid of just like bullying the, the main character on this and and yeah and it's a uh, the the main character is a it's a woman and she's like uh, from uh i don't know what tribe but it's like a indigenous tribe in in america and the predator is coming and is looking for 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 hunting right and it's trying to hunt like other predators or and and suddenly finds humans as being like a a good challenger to just like go and kill just it's it's pretty much just like the original movie i guess uh but on this one Oops, 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 oops. Oh, yeah, but on this one, there's a twist. Oh, what a twist. And the twist is that, that it's kind of like an indigenous tribe that are like the ones who are fighting the predators. The the one predator, there's only one. I said plural, I know. Okay, well, we got it. We got something. It was just a little scene. And... I like doing these kind of live streams because they allow. I always keep saying this. They're kind of like self therapy in a way. I see them as my way to just let let the demons out. Who let the demons out? Who? 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 Who let the demons out? Let's see this. Ah, it's looking okay. 
Uh, let's see if you have any questions. Hand of God. I love that texture tool with the dots. Brings the sketch to life. Uh, it does the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me change this stuff. Let me just go to just me. Uh, oh, I love this, Paolo. This is how I do it. And that makes it perfect. Yeah, this is how I do it. Exactly. A good plan. My is here. Yeah. I love that texture. Yeah. So it's uh, that texture is just like a, it's like a half tone texture. And it's just a brush. So, and it comes in different levels. So that's my trick. That's how, what I use. And that makes, allows me to just move quickly and have a, a particular style. Um, and, and yeah, at least in the beginning of this, uh, of this art style. So let's see if you have any more questions before I go. Brings us sketch to life. Well, if you have questions, just add them here. Uh, and before that, I guess I, uh, uh, yeah so so yeah like a hey thank you so much for being here i always say like i'm going to try to do more of these and then i don't do it but um i will i will try i always try it's just like this past week was, was one of those weeks that is just like full of meanings it's just like back to back meaning back to back meaning and then it's like five o'clock and you're like yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump on a live stream. It's it's too difficult. It's just too much. Too much weight, and it's so hard. So, I haven't been able to do it because of that. But you gotta be consistent, Pablo. Even if you don't want to do, you should do it. I'll try. Uh, hey, yeah. I have to say, your personality is amazing. Thank you. Very therapeutic to watch you through this demonstration. Well, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Uh, well, I'm going to just stop. Really nice, Pablo. Enjoyed watching a lot. I'm going to share this uh, uh, doodle on Twitter. Uh, follow uh, on Twitter, Humankind. It's a new art project that I'm working on. Well, it's not new anymore because I've been working on it for a long time. But uh, now, now it, it, it is more of a project and it used to be more of a uh, side little thing that I that I was doing and now I'm taking it a little more seriously and now it's a, an actual project. And you know what? Uh, wow, I never did the whole invitation. Let me invite you to our, um, to our uh, general link, copy. Um, there you go, there's a link. You can join us on Discord. Uh, there's for one person and let me let me see if I can invite another one yeah and, and uh, we're just I'm just starting on discord I'm starting like creating uh, like a team uh, and, and 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 now I have a couple of artists who are going to start helping me I haven't I say I it's we we have an animator now that it's joining the, the team too. Uh, super excited about that. We have someone who is going to help me with copywriting too, with like, uh, I write and I, I write everything, but I I know that English is my second language. So I know it can be, uh, I, can, I know that it can be better. So now I'm, um, for the first time, no, not the first time, uh, well, but anyway, someone to help me with my writing, I'm bringing someone. So that's one, a writer, also uh, advisors. I'm getting advice from different people, uh, people who I trust a lot, people who challenge me, people who usually I, in the beginning, I will be like, mm, I don't know if I agree, but then it's good because you don't want people who are just telling you, who are just yes people, you know, you want people who, who challenge whatever it's in your head and and bring different perspectives and different opinions and different ideas because that's that's that is going to allow you to grow and to really experiment and innovate. Uh, so I'm happy that I have people who challenge me and then that's that's awesome. And people who I you don't want people who and, and people who I trust because they're really smart and they're challenging me on my ideas. So that's good. Uh, so, so yeah, like that and, and yeah, and some friends just helping me. So we're just starting, but, uh, 
uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a project that I, I, I truly believe in. It's called Humankind. So just go to Humankind Art on Twitter if you want to follow what we're doing. Uh, we're going to be revealing something this week. Uh, it's going to be dope. So thank you so much for following me on this uh, uh, live stream. I hope I get to see you more. And if you didn't get the invitation because it was just for one people, I, I'd share two links. So it's two for two people. Let's share one more. Come on, man. One more. Let's share one more. I already see that some people entered. Uh, uh, edit. Uh, and then let's put a limit. Generate copy. And then let's put new invites. And let's share. Thanks for the invite, Pablo. Stoked to be in. Oh, that's so cool. Machiavellian. Machiavellian. <laughs> I love it. Machiavellian. Uh, well, great to see you there. And I just share another one. What different perspectives are you most interested in seeking out? Yeah, uh, perspectives on just like how to proceed, you know, how to plan, uh, how to uh, how to do art. And I think uh, on strategy, um, I I usually on on strategy and stuff. I I I am a, a person who is driven by I'm driven by my, my intuition by my gut, and which can help you move fast and can help you go like get to a place like following that quote from the beginning. You just like move violently and get to a place, right? But sometimes like if you combine that with uh, uh, data and with information and just you know, and sometimes it's good because then it validates some of that, those intuitions that you had uh, but also sometimes it challenges them and that's good too because like hey maybe my intuition is um, I'm, I'm, I'm biased you know and I'm biased towards like something a solution that I think or maybe a fear that I have uh, a solution that worked in the past and I think that is going to work this time but it's not usually the, the the case and usually you you base your into your intuitions and all on on your past knowledge or, or on your culture and what you think and that if you're trying to get to a different audience or tr you're trying to uh, go outside what the, the the usual things that you do then you need to have other inputs other types of inputs that sometimes will be opposite of what you think or complementary. So that's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for, and, and, and it's cool, good, good to have that. It's and it, and it gets for makes for great conversations, you know, and discussions. <sighs> anyway, thank you so much. I've been just talking for it's been an hour, one hour, and from this hour, I think only like ten minutes were doodling. So it's it's like a football game where it's just like just like a lot of commercials and a lot of like dancing and, and there's no playing it's just like out of like three hours of a game there's only like five minutes of game <laughs> a lot of football players are gonna be mad at me i don't care bye-bye <laughs>